So this is what I've been working on. I mean, I know y'all probably saw some things and it's just the details. I'm trying to be a stickler for these details and I'm trying not to rush it. You can see that our window, one-way stickers are in on the Yami Betchere Community Center, family community celebration. I still don't think the video does it justice, like seeing it with your eyes. But you can see we have our ancestors on the window and their quotes. We have our wooden blocks for our donors who will contribute and then submit names to add to the building. So the energy that's gonna go on this building is gonna be embodied in the names of the ancestors that those donors contribute and give us their names to add on all of these blocks all the way around. All of these wooden blocks will be sanded. You see the four corners? All of those wooden blocks will be sanded and a metal plate added onto it. So we getting there, we getting there, we getting there, we getting there. This is the first project that I will complete. Not the first one that we started, but this will be the first one to be complete. And then we'll move on to the next one, which is also in process. But this is what I've been doing. I want to talk about it more. I'm sorry, I don't have a whole lot of time to talk to our people around the world about what we're doing, how we're doing it. But once this is finished, we'll share the spreadsheet, we'll set a full budget. We'll talk about how the cost changed over the years. We'll talk about programming, endowment, how we're working with the community, how this particular building works with the school and the community, what its purpose, what its mission is, all of that. We'll continue to share and we'll continue to offer opportunities for folks to help and donate to keep it alive. The last thing I'll say is that this is not just about Ghanaians, and this is not just about people in the Ghanaian community. We needed to build and own a space that we can partner with youth organizations in the U.S. to bring our own youngins here because our youngins need a different environment to thrive in, a different environment to think about life in. And when we're finished with this, we're going to be ready to partner with Everybody who's willing to bring our young black brothers and sisters, especially those from broken homes who grew up in just horrible situations. You know what I'm saying? All our young killers out there, 13, 14, who, who couldn't possibly just be a, a natural killer, but who, you know, in their environment made some really bad choices. Um, we need to help our justice system effectively work with our youth. Locking them in a cell is not going to help. It hasn't been helping. But we need real help for our people, real healing. And we can do that out here. I honestly believe that. So more coming soon. This is the first. This is the model. We hope once this is done, specifically in Aquia Pim, we can build 17 more. All right. I'll talk more later, y'all. Peace.